Hi guys, Mr. Kong guy here. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, it's Stephanie, Miss Kong and girl. So Stephanie, um, you've had quite a bit of experience when it comes to this company. You've been doing this business for some time. Can you share a little bit of just your road thus far and your current rank and, and really your journey, how to get there? Well, as my parents helped me get my machine when I was 18, um, I honestly wasn't doing the business for two years. Mm. And when I got to go to an event and really learn the science of the water, that's when it was over for me. So I for did under- two years, yeah. sorry to interrupt, but for two years, you didn't believe in the water? No. Interesting. Yeah. Please continue. And my mother and my father were literally selling machines and I was seeing everything happen, like miracles through the water. It was exciting, but I couldn't believe it. Mm. So I literally started sharing the water after two years with a friend that was trying to recruit me for a business. And I was like, well, I have this opportunity with this water and I can give it to you for free. So he's like, sure, give it to me. So your parents saw the benefit of the water, the benefit yeah. of the business, yeah. threw you into the deep end and you're like, hey mom, dad, I, I, I don't really get this. No, I thought it was for sick and old people. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you said two years, it took you some time before yeah. you came around to the water. Literally two years. And um, however, they did, I mean, I was their daughter and I would see them being successful. And so I thought, well, I'll at least hang out, right. you know? So I was there hanging out with them, learning about the water, but I never got to see like a real professional doctor or someone, which at that event that I went to, there was doctors. Wow. So um, a lot of people are aware in this business, really when you get to that, that first graduation point was, is your level of 6A. Yeah. How long did it take you to get to your level of 6A? So when I finally decided to join the business with my parents, I mean, I was already in the business, but to actually do business, you know, for myself in an agic, um, I was already a 5A. They had already built about 80 sales under me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And mind you, my father is in the business under me. Okay. Awesome. So they were they were out there making the sales. You're picking up the, the checks and handing them over to them. Yeah, they were actually having me deposit the checks, wait for the money to come because <laughs> it was money that I wasn't even used to having in my bank account. So it would have, take at least a day to clear. And they were like, bring us back our money. It's not your money. Right, right, right. And then once you started to see the benefits, a little bit more enticing for you to get up and get involved. In well, there was actually a whole story with that. I actually gave the water to a young gentleman who was uh, as i mentioned he was um he was actually already a network marketer and he brought me i think it was about three leaders but out of those three i have one girl who's still in the business solid and so when you talk perspective out of a hundred people and there was probably closer to 140 uh, like another 40 probably didn't even reach when he actually went 6a wow um he actually is no longer doing the business but out of those 100 i only got one leader wow that is still doing the business you know and that's a very important point that i want to address you know i think a lot of people are out there with this maybe assumption that this business is easy that mm -hmm. you can quickly get to where you want to go and you're going to have this massive fortune at the end of that road but you are quite a clear testament that it's a much more uphill grind than that. I think any business is in reality. It's, um, you know, it's going to have its ebbs and flows. It's going to have its seasons of growth. And I definitely think as you grow, however, as a person that you need to literally break those thresholds for yourself, the fear, um, even in your beliefs, like maybe my business was falling apart and I'm willing to take full responsibility that I didn't have the leadership to sustain the growth of my team. But now that I see my maturity and the experiences, the environments that I'm in, including just everything I've learned from my church, I see the potential of building a team, of being the leader. And I've seen all of it all along, um, but I think right timing is definitely part of everyone's journey. Absolutely. I think that's a very good point. You know, when you talk about timing, especially in business, you know, you, you bring up another good point. Business in general is not going to be an easy thing and it's persistence and yes. kind of continuing to show up every day that's going to get you there. A hundred percent. Now, Stephanie, uh, can you share a little bit about your current rank? So I am a 6A2-2. I am very close to being a 6A2-3. And what's exciting is that through that road, um, my brand is actually Miss Kang and Girl and it goes from purple like I'm wearing to red and purple is actually alkaline. Red is acidic, right? As we know in the pH chart. I, and, and I see it as like my youth was my alkaline and then I've gone through being a woman, which is like my acidity season, okay? <laughs> it's actually kind of very close to my brand, but um, then I really feel like I've gotten back to my stability, which is back to being alkaline, you know? So it's, it's really just that 
what I see with 682-3 coming on I, is total freedom. Like I can choose if I want to work full time. I can choose if I want to work all the time or half the time. Um, but I'm excited. My mother and my father are very close to the position as well. Awesome. So because of how we structured it, we get to see the other side of the benefit where we're all getting there together. Now you all have been doing this for over 10 years? Yes. So my parents joined the business um, in April. It will be 13 years. So we started in 2010. Okay, so it'll be 13 years, but so far 12 and a half going on 13. Yeah. You know, you, you also have quite a bit of experience in business when it comes to your education. You do have a master's in business, which I absolutely love that about you. I Thank think it you. aligns very well with my education in business and what I'm trying to do accomplish as well. That's great, um, yeah. The biggest thing I would try to address is 13 years with a master's in business, with leaders, with teams, with multiple, multiple years of ups and downs. Um, what is the one thing that you could really just give to somebody as a piece of advice and maybe somebody who's just starting out like me? You've heard it over and over, but you can't give up. You just can't. Like, you're going to have the ups and you're going to enjoy those and you're going to think they'll never come down. And I think that there will be a season where it doesn't come down, but you have to build a new structure all the time. So now that I've taken on staff and different things, like I've had to become a new person again. You know, my prayer life gets stronger. My faith gets stronger. So um, that's another thing, I guess. Um, I guess one is don't give up, but number two is grow. Because if you don't grow, everything will fall apart. It's just inevitable. You've got to be able to sustain what you're building, you know? I think being stagnant in anything is inevitably going to lead to some type of disappointment. That's right. Right? We want to keep moving, keep pushing as much as possible. Yeah, and I think just believe, just keep believing, keep building vision, you know? And, um, and whenever you're in a season like we all get to be in, which is like not always the best thing, but we all get to be in seasons where they're going to be sharpening us really lean on other people that are at your level so they can continue to hold you up because that way you're just not coming down you're not you know feeling like it's going to be okay to just be in that season like no it's not okay you've got other people counting on you so building team i'm excited about it and um done it a few times i built i you know i and agic isn't the only place i've built my life you know, so other people are counting on me to make sure payroll is being met at my dad's job. That's you know? a fantastic point. You know, let's take a sidestep there and, and sure. share a little bit about the other things that you're involved in just outside of an agent. Yeah. So um, I am a leader at my church and that is something I bring it up first because it's something that is very important to me. Putting God first for me means that I've got to make sure I'm taking care of God's people. Amen. Um, with Enagic, I get to do that too, however, you know, and so that's something that I love too, is that when I share water, I'm sharing a part of something that I've been building, number one, but I'm sharing health and I truly believe that. So when you start to believe that, it's easy. But number three, I also um, really was the, the career that I thought I would be in for the rest of my life. And I think I will because um, it's as old as me. My father owns a construction company and I've been running the company since I was 19. Wow. And um, I stepped out actually for four years to build an Agic and the company was not sustaining itself with new and other leaders. So I had to step back in, bring the company back on track. And so now, now, literally now, as we speak, I am now juggling all three things, which again, I'm growing and it's a very, new season but i'm totally up for it and i'm excited that you're going to be a part of that ride with me i'm excited to be here too i think that maybe we need to switch your name to super miss con <laughs> oh i like that one actually i'll I take like it that one too you know stephanie I, i'm i'm more than pleased to be on your team I, i'm elated by all of the mentoring that you've done so far and uh i'm just really excited to go forward with you Thank thanks you. for sharing your story with us i appreciate you asking the questions and just creating this content with me and I look forward to doing business with you. Great. Thanks, Miss Congo. Thank you.